up. Oh, yeah. That's a good fit. Shark, just behind the lure. Woo. Yeah. Oh, wow. It's actually bigger than I thought. G'day folks, welcome back to another episode and as always, thanks for joining us, we love your support and as promised, we're going to kick off proceedings right where you left us on the last episode of Pardu Station. We're worming our way up now that northern western coastline, we're about an hour south of Broome right now and if you love station stays, this whole episode is going to be dedicated to one of the most mint station stays that we've stayed at to date along our travels as we venture around Australia. And as you can see behind me, it doesn't get any more magical, majestic and tranquil than this. So without further ado, we are, ladies and gentlemen, at Barnhill Seaside Station Stay. And I'll tell you what, we've been here a couple of days already. I've got the tinny down. As you can see, as a fellow fisher, I'm sure you guys and girls can relate to it. If you like the blended mix, you love that rustic Station Stay feel, community vibes, but yet you love being by the ocean, well, I tell you what, Barn Hill's got it all for you guys. Absolutely. So we're going to get some, uh, we're going to obviously wet a line and hopefully get a tight line and a, a bent rod and a fishing bust up or two. We've got three days of jam packed fishing. The tides are getting better. Um, there's a beachside launch here. I'm literally, with, we're within walking distance of the accommodation sites where we're staying. You can get your car down here with the tinny to launch off the beach. So we're going to be stalking this coastline up and down. We'll be sure to share that with you fellow fishos. But also we're gonna share with you Barnhill Station itself. There's so much proud family history here. And whilst we're talking about history, let me share some of the Barnhill history with you now. So the family were managing a station here from about 1966, a cattle station. Then in 1986, they had an opportunity to acquire and purchase around about half a million acres of cattle property. Uh, husband and wife with 10 children, and they've obviously turned it into the phenomenal seaside station stay that it is today so that people like you and I love to get out and explore. We love station stays, but we love being by the coastline. If you love your stations, your caravan, camper, explorer, I tell you what, guys, girls, you gotta put this on your list because as we've made our way up the WA coast, everyone we've spoken to has said, if you can get into Barnhill, make sure you book and secure a booking. So we're gonna share with you the station itself, absolutely some fishing. If you love your lawn bowls, there's an awesome lawn bowl green facility here. They put on local social competitions, so we'll share some of that with you. And again, the hot tip from many people who have stayed here have said, Chris, you gotta try their wood fire pizzas. So folks, those of you, as you can probably tell, I love my pizzas. So we put our order in for those wood fire pizzas tonight. We're gonna share that with you. We're gonna share with you all the beauty that this incredible station stay has to offer. We're gonna share with you the powered sites, the unpowered sites, what the cost is to stay here. But I can tell you now, you won't be disappointed. Just get here, explore it, come see and do it for yourself. Anyway, kick back, relax. Let's get into Barnhill Seaside Station Stay. As you can see, beautiful rocks here. Gonna find some octopus maybe if we can among the rocks. We'll get out and do some snorkeling as well. As I said, the wind is backing off over the next few days. It's easterly, but it gets less and less. So we'll get out there and have a bit of a snorkel and swim as well. And uh, if you've got any questions or comments, drop them down below, because as always, we'd love to hear from you. Anyway, enough of that. Enjoy this EP 
Barnhill Seaside Station stay. Yew. All right, folks, so uh, we're back on dry land after marking some ground and territory this afternoon. Just went for a quick little afternoon dash session to mark some ground for the next few days to fish hard. But as promised, I'm going to share with you the Barnhill wood oven pizza that they're absolutely so well known and highly respected for. I'm in the caravan because it is dark outside. But I'm going to take the GoPro out there shortly because I'm going to share with you this cool uh, garden area that they've got that overlooks the ocean. You can probably hear in the background they've got a chap by the name of Ken Austin who's playing some cover band music plus some of his own original music that he's written himself. Phenomenal voice. So I'll share that with you so you can have a look at the kids playground, the family community and feel there's so many people sitting out there enjoying Ken Austin's music. The kids are playing freely uh, in the background and just the lights that light up the air, entire area just give it a beautiful ambient feel and it's a nice warm balmy night wearing shorts and t-shirt anyway let's get into the pizza um, so I ordered the coastal pizza so of course it's more like your typical ham pineapple pizza as always but as I said it's uh, cooked in a wood oven pizza style I almost feel like we're doing a barstool pizza review here Nice and crispy crust, thin crust, just how I like it. Check that out. Maxi? No, not for you, you've already had dinner, mate. Anyway, let's duck into it, eh? Mm. Like the Barstool Pizza Review, I'm gonna say that's a good 8.7 out of 10 for me. That's Chriso's Bar Stall Pizza Review here at Barn Hill Seaside Station today. Mel and Demi got the Barn Hill Pizza. Not too sure what's on their topping, but as I'll jump outside and share with you what's happening out there, all the fun and uh, entertainment and excitement, hopefully the girls have got their pizza and I'll share with you uh, what their pizza is and what the topping is. Anyway, let's jump outside and uh, enjoy some of the entertainment of Barn Hill Seaside Station today. But I just wanted to show you how close we are to the action as such, aren't we Mel? Yeah. You've got the lawn bowls just over there. Which we'll be playing tomorrow. We're playing tomorrow, aren't we? We're having a yeah. game. Yeah. Scroungers. There's the office, where's you enter and check in. And this is that area I was telling you about that's got all this massive kids playground equipment. Ropes in the trees, cool climbing trees. And then you've got everyone who's sitting there just chilling out, relaxing here and watching Ken Austin on stage. And behind him is the ocean backdrop. So as the sun goes down, did you see the sunset here today? Yeah, right? it was beautiful. How was it? Yeah, really nice. Right anyway, we're going to tuck into some pizza, kick back, relax, and enjoy Ken Austin. Let me go So. As I said, Mel got the Barnhill pizza. What, what toppings on yours? So I think it's pepperoni, capsicum, onion, mushroom, tomato sauce. It's got a little bit of spice to it as well. Of course it does. Hang on, let me put a light on it. Just after, Mel had a bit of a tummy ache last night from too much spice, didn't you love? Mm. Too much chili. Let's have a look. Put a few more songs. Oh, that looks them. good. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, do a pizza bar stall review. Have a bite and rate it out of 10. Right. Let me grab a piece. As well. I gave mine 8.7. It's actually really nice. The flavour is there. Well, you got to do the review for the viewers though. Even though you've had a little sneaky piece already, what would you rate it as the Jansen's bar stall pizza review of Barn Hill Station Stay? What do you give it? I'll give it an 8. An 8? Yeah. Just an 8.0. There you go, folks. Get on to the pizzas at Barn Hill Station. Anyway, we're going to tuck in. All right, folks, so we're down on the beach as promised, and I'm going to show you on my head, first person view of launching off the beach. So, as you can see, we've got the tinny and car ready. I've undone the straps. Motor's up, obviously. I'm going to reverse in, and I'll share with you how. A one-man band and team can launch off the beach here. As you can see, it's pretty calm today. Tides up nice and high as well. That's helpful. It was a bit wavy when I came in yesterday evening. Right on dusk, pushing it wide. But let's do it. Let's launch off the beach. I'm going to share it with you now. Let's go. All right, so we're in the water. Now, some pop people probably think, what are you doing putting the Land Cruiser in the water? Don't worry. For all you folks that worry about salt damage, the car 
is thoroughly washed with love every time. So, but this is the only option to launch here and you're not gonna miss a pristine opportunity to fish grounds in a location like this when you can wash the old car anyway. All right. And all we gotta do is wait for a wave, fill up the back of the trailer, And there we go, we're off. And then what I do is I take the boat out to a dip away from the waves. Grab the anchor, which I've pre-tied on in advance. And send her, send her out there. Safe distance away from the waves. That should be all right there. You've got to get a little bit wet, but worth it to get out there and catch some amazing fish. And then one other thing that I do is I just put it in low range before I get down this low, obviously, just to be safe. Get a good run up the beach as well. There you go. Job done. We're ready to head out, legends. Let's do it. Oh yeah, that, that, that's a good, that, that's a good fish. That's a better pull, that one. Blue bone. Yes! This is what I've been waiting for, legends! Yeah! This is what I'm after. Hang on, mate. Hang on, mate. Hang on, buddy. Let's hope he measures. I reckon it's gonna go close. Six, 36 centimeters. He goes away to fight another day. Yew! That's what we're after, though.
so much like there's an eight nine meter difference in the tide so you drift over so quickly i've literally just put my order in for uh, a 12 volt electric motor to go on the front of the tinny um hoping to get it done and installed by broom because we're headed off to middle lagoon so i can just get on the ground and lock on should have done it before leaving home anyway you live and learn all right this is it last last ditch effort i've come back to where i hooked that blue bone before i had a big hit from a blue bone well, i reckon it was a keeper for sure but dropped him unfortunately didn't get on gopro because the gopro was flat i was charging it Plenty of fish sounding up. Yep. Come on. Ah. Oh. I thought it might be. Said another good hit then, but dropped him. That was big. What was it? Yep, yeah, still on. Still on. Um, yeah, what do we got here? <laughs> little, little shark neck. <laughs> Don't know if that's what first hit it. Not sure. A couple of good sized fish on the sounder right now. Just coming over them. Oh, I can't pull the bastards. Cannot get them. Man, that's big fish. Might need a bigger hook. Bump, bump, here we go. I'm gonna chuck a bigger hook on real quickly. That's it. Sun's gone down. We're out of here. No blue bone today, folks, but another day tomorrow to come. Hopefully we can get it. I'm hoping that might be the issue. The hook. Anyway, let's head in. Time to get a feed, clean the feed, and head on home. See you back there, folks. Yo. <laughs> Big fella. Look at it. Big shark. Oh. 
He's waiting around. Where is he? Zoom. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Big fella. Wow. This is what we're after. Oh. What have we got here? We just need that tax man to stay away. Shark. Oh, cobia. Oh. There's a cobia, I think. Yeah. Big cobia. Big cobia. <laughs> wow. Woo. Man, that had some pull. Good fun. Running ball sink at 4 0. Bit of, bit of, uh, bit of prawn onto the cobia. There was a second one following it too. If we can get him in close again, I'm excited.
shark just behind the lure. Ooh, yeah. Tigery. About two metres, I reckon. Don't know if you can see it on the camera phone. Just stalking me. Hello, you beautiful thing. Come over here. Oh yeah, that excited it a little bit. There it is. It's a bit murky today, so it's a bit hard to see. But it's just there. I wouldn't be doing that if it was much bigger. Beautiful colours. I think it's a tiger, I don't know, it's so hard to tell. Could be a lemon as well. There you go, it's coming up close now. Right in that sunlight. Oh, oh yeah. Hello, you beautiful thing. Look at it. Right near the surface now. Woo! Yeah. Oh, wow. It's actually bigger than I thought. That's enough for me. Morning folks, just taking you for a stroll with us. It's our uh, departure morning here of Barn Hill Seaside Station. As sad as that seems, been a great stay here, really enjoyed our time. Um, yeah, just a great feel. But I just wanted to show you folks, I can't fly the drone over the park directly, but I can take it to the beach. So I'm gonna send the bird up and show with you a bit of an aerial picture of all of beautiful Barn Hill here. And then I'll take you inside to the campsite so you can see a little bit uh, of the setup itself. It is behind me, so I just wanted to share with you, um, hopefully you can see it with the sun there, the northern camp, that's all unpowered there. Then where all these trees are over here, that's where the actual cafe, office area is, grass, lawned area, kids playground, and I'll show you that because last night you might not have been able to see it because it's pretty dark. Over here, you've got some shade huts that you can park your vans up next to if you don't have an awning as such and there's more unpowered sites over here and then over that way is your fish cleaning station bay um, and dump point pretty much you can see the distance to walk from the station is from there you can actually see my caravan through that lawned area from there but you might not be able to but you can see it's just this track through here there's the stairs bang you're onto the beach and that's what you're greeted with every day within four or five hundred meters of your campsite for these guys even closer if you come here fishing you launch off the beach as i said and showed you earlier pretty much hook left you head towards the cliffs down that way about five six hundred meters offshore between the cliffs and that little headland bay there that's where i've got plenty of ground plenty of fish and plenty of marks now too so um Hopefully that gives you a little tip if you come down to Barnhill Station. You've got a tinny because I know what it's like. I lose time the first day trying to find ground market. So um, head that way. Plenty to plenty to uh, plenty to hook up down that way. Anyway, I'll send the I'll send the drone up. Let's get some nice early morning footage, and then I'll show you inside the campsite itself and our campsite, and then we're on the road. Anyway, enjoy Barnhill from an aerial perspective. Okay, well I have to take that back. I can't send the drone up because the app fails. It won't open, unfortunately, even though I updated the other week, but it's saying update. And I'm trying to update it, but the reception here is so sluggish. It's gonna take over 30 minutes for the app to update. And I don't have 30 minutes to spare anyway. So we'll take you back up to um, see the sites and uh, Barnhill itself. So these are the stairs down to the beach that I was talking about as well. You can see it's just a short stroll down onto the beach there. That's where I launched the boat. That's the way we went fishing, left. And if you come down here swimming, as the girls did on a few days, there's a cool shower up here as well, so you can freshen up. But yeah, sorry about that, no drone footage. Devo, I haven't flown the drone for a while, but yeah, the app just won't open up, and I don't have 30 minutes to spare to wait for it to upload and update, because we're gonna get out of here. Anyway, I'm gonna go get a coffee and tea. Uh, coffee for me, tea for the girls, and a mango smoothie from the cafeteria here. 
I'll share that with you folks instead of some beautiful drone footage. These are those powered, unpowered sites I was telling you about. And they're now powered sites. Among that tree canopy in there, so lots and lots of shade. But the only downfall if you stay in there, the coverage is minimal. If we didn't have our Telco wideband antenna, we'd have no reception at all. So as you can see, I'm coming from the beach. You come in through this gate, and you've got this big grass area. Kids playground where we were showing you the other night. When we're eating our pizzas, just sitting on the front here, and this is the stage where they have many musicians come along to entertain. And we're gonna head over to the cafeteria now to get a mango smoothie, coffee for dad, morning tea for mum. Beautiful trees, lots of robes. It's awesome, kids are always hanging out here, heaps of them. All right, so as you can see behind us, folks, there's the uh, lawn bowls pitch. And a couple of people are just practicing now, as you can see. They run social competitions Tuesday and Thursday nights, I believe it is, both singles and team events. And um, yeah, if you're into your lawn bowls, bring down your bowls, or if you don't have bowls, you can still come and register to play in the social competition, have a little bit of fun, and enjoy the lawn bowls. And check out the backdrop from the lawn bowl arena. The ocean right there behind us. You. Anyway, that wraps up another episode. Thanks for joining us always, folks. We always appreciate your support. And as always, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and uh, share the love around. And uh, be sure to comment with any questions. We'd love to hear from you. And uh, next EP, we're going to be taking you to a gem of a little spot. We're staying right on the beach waterfront at a place called Middle Lagoon, up near Cape Levique. So that'll be our next adventure, next episode that we'll be sharing with you. And uh, before we go, though, I'll share with you the mango smoothie that I've just bought from the cafe here and the coffee and tea. And then we're going to hit the bitumen. We're in Broome to refuel and stock up for the next few days as we make our way up to Cape Levique and Middle Lagoon. Whatever you do, mm -hmm. live free, look out for each other. See you, legends.